Today's video, I've got a little uh, pretty strange contraption set up. I'm going to do an experiment where I test how high each stick bounces from a predetermined height and in a very uh, pseudo-scientific manner. So I'm not the best at experiment design. I don't have any degrees in science, but this is my attempt. So what I've got going here is I'm going to put a bunch of different sizes of sticks into um, this setup, which is just a pedal with the spring, chain, and beater removed so that it's just the cam moving on the uh, axle here. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the sticks up to the same you know, angle, and then I'm just going to let gravity take them in. And we're going to look at them from exactly the same angle and see if we can see if any of them appear to be bouncing lower or higher than any of the others. Now, I've got this one is a Ralph Hardeman uh, indoor core master. Then I've got a bunch of other sticks here. I've got a uh, SD1 General from Vic Firth. I've got a 5B sound percussion, just because I don't have any Vic Firth's 5Bs that aren't chewed up and used. I've got a 5A sound percussion, just to uh, keep it consistent with the brand there. Um, then I've got a 5A Vic Firth, just to go back to Vic Firth. Then I've got a 7A Vic Firth. Right, so they're all wood tipped, they're all unchewed up, relatively decent condition sticks. I'm putting them in the same basic spot on the practice pad, I even like drew myself a, a target. And we're going to see if there's any appreciable difference just based on the diameter of the stick. Big Firth 7A. Here we go. Big Firth 5A. Here we go. Sound Percussion 5A. Here we go. Sound Percussion 5B. Here we go. Vic Firth SD1 General. Here we go. Vic Firth Ralph Hardeman Indoor. Here we go. So here we're going to go through, look at every stick's highest point. And you'll notice they're pretty much in order of size with the exception of one, and that's this 5A, which made it into second place, uh, which is weird. The rest of them, as you can see on this little chart I've made here, they go in order. The smallest 7A is the sixth highest bounce. The largest, the Ralph Hardeman, has the highest bounce, and only that Vic Firth 5A is out of order. And why that is might have to do with the taper or the tip size in relation to the barrel, but generally speaking, we can say that there is some correlation here, despite the flaws in the experiment, that a bigger stick tends to bounce higher than a smaller stick, um, which is kind of cool to know. So basically, I always like to start out my younger students on bigger sticks, even though the guys at the music store always tell them to buy the 5As because they have small hands. But the bigger sticks, the 5Bs and the 2Bs and etc., will actually bounce better for them, giving them a better feel for the instrument, in my humble opinion. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, see you guys next time.